Today we are reviewing some hog wild stink bait worms. So this, I already have a rig set up because I went fishing the other day. This is what it should look like when you're done. You should have a half ounce egg sinker. You need a split shot. And a hog wild stink bait worm. Any colors for, uh, any color of your choice. Per, uh, personally, I like the red worms better. I don't know why. Even though green's my favorite color, I feel like the reds do better. And then, so this is your setup when you should be done. And we're going to cut this off and show you how to rig it up. So once again, the things you will need oh, is an egg sinker, a dip bait worm, your pole of choice. Usually, I use 20 pound, uh, 20 pound test for this. You can go bigger, you can go smaller, just it's channel cat and these leaders are 20 pound. I usually use 20 to 30 pound test. So, what you want to do is take your line, I don't have enough yet. Okay, I think I got enough this time. And you want to take your line and double it over. So what that means is just make a loop like that. And then you want to tie a knot in it like that and pull it tight, as tight as you can get it. And then you come back to this worm and you do that exact same thing in the line. And I get these at Walmart, you can get them at most fishing stores. And then they come in a pack of two for like $3 maybe, $2, $4 sometimes. And then, yep, I did it again. Before you make this loop, you need to put this on this. So, we're going to have to redo this. I do this all the time. But, now you guys know how to tie the loop in the knot line now. And actually, you can get to... And this one line... You, in the worm, there's a line with the worm, you need a big loop, and the line that's hooked up to your rod or your cane pole or whatever you're using, you need a smaller loop. You can do a bigger loop, I just do smaller loops because you don't need that big of one. Then you take this loop, get it as small as you can get it to fit in through this one, fit it through as far as you want it to, and then go... Take it, slide it over, and go through the sponge, and then tighten these two lines up in the end, and then you got that. And the reason I make two loops is so you can do this. Let's say you want to change out worms, you just take the loop, you push them together as far as you can go, and then you pull the worm right through, like that. And then you pull it out, and boom. So, the reason I do that is just to make it easy release and easy put to put a new one on. And then same thing, you just put it back on. Go around the sponge. And pull it tight. Now, sometimes that'll happen. It'll get caught up on your knots or something. All you have to do is just push it around those knots, and you can get it to look like that. Now, you take your split shot. This is about the biggest split shot I could find in Walmart. You don't need too big. You don't need too small. Just something that will add a little bit of weight. And keep that egg sinker on this part of the line. Tighten the split shot down as far as you can get it. And that is your rig. Let's see how she casts. Pretty good. Now, the sink bait I use with this is called Primo Super Sticky Blood Bait. And I don't have some with me right now. It's in Grandpa's freezer at home. And if you take this on a hot summer day, you're going to need a cooler to put it in because this stuff turns to soup. Now, if you used to channel catfish all the time, you remember Sunny's. Maybe you've heard what's happened to them, maybe you haven't. 
basically just the two owners got in a fight. It was the son and the father. And so they decided to quit. The son made a new one across the road and the da the father just shut everything down. So they make a Sunny's, but it's not really called Sunny's. I don't know what it's called yet, but I just use Primo right now. If I find the other Sunny's, I'll use that. But this is probably the easiest channel cat rig you can make on it. Nothing else. You will n catch nothing else on this rig. This is a great thing to target channel cat with. You can throw a dew worm out there and catch just about everything. And sometimes, let's say you're going after a flathead, you got a lot of junk fish like carp, or not carp, perch, um, billy gar, channel cat, which I really con wouldn't consider. Catfish is a catfish. Channel cat is a little bit better than blue cat, and flathead, I think, just takes the cake. So, if you want channel cat, they're fun to fight. They're easy to catch if you have this rig. Go ahead and do this rig. And this is the uh, pole and reel I have. You can use any heavy duty pole or reel. But I have an Abu Garcia. And a Berkeley rod. And then I have a Hogwild dip bait worm. And I'm going to use some Primo dip bait. And we're going to go have some fun catching the channel cat at the river next time we go. Thanks for watching. Maybe you can have fun on your next channel cat adventure. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like.